Well done for taking the plunge. You're a rock star and I can almost guarantee that you won't regret it. Let's dive into setting up Logseek on your PC. We'll start with using the web app, but I'm also going to download the desktop app and I'm going to use that for the majority of the tutorial. The desktop application is really stable and it's got a great feature set. Although I know that it might be a bit intimidating. So if you just want to use the web app, baby steps are also completely okay. So first of all, we need to get Logseek on our machine. And there's two options here. Now, if I go to the website, logseek.com, you can see here, there's just gives a brief explanation of what Logseek is. And I can download the desktop app or I can open a local folder. This is one of the first sticking points. People don't know where to go. I'm going to do both. I'm just going to download the desktop app here. And you can see here it's downloading. So there's a Windows certificate. There's no problem with downloading, loading and installing anymore. It's pretty seamless but you can also open a local folder. So I'm going to start with that approach and then I'm going to show you how you might use the desktop app in conjunction. They are both working on the same set of files on your computer. So if I open a local folder, so it says here that changes will not be saved until I open a local folder. So Logseek is using a folder on my machine to store all the files that I am editing. So if I go here, and I say open, I can choose a folder on my machine that Logseek will read. You could choose something on your C drive. So that would be, you know, your, your actual hard disk of your computer. But I like to use a cloud provider. So I use Google because everything on my life is in Google. And I've also had no challenges with Google. I've tried Box and Dropbox, but there are some challenges there if I'm using emojis in the file names, but that's a whole nother kettle of fish. And I haven't tried OneDrive, but I know that they're all supported. So yeah, you can use any provider you want, but I'm, I'm using Google Drive. So if I go to my Google Drive, I can then create a new folder. Let me create a new folder here. And that is going to be called my first database. Great. So I get this message, let the site view the files. And what that means is that it's actually going to be interacting with that folder on my computer. So I can say view files and let it edit files. So yes, I'm going to save changes on files there. And now my first database is created. And the first thing that I see here is the journal page. Now I'm going to show you what is happening on my computer. So if I now go into that file or that folder, my first database here, you can see here that there are three folders that have been created journals, pages, and logseek. If I go into journals, you'll see here that this folder is empty because I've not entered anything into my journal page yet. So if I go on Logseek and I type hello world, you can see there that there's a file created, which is on my local drive. So going back to the full screen of Logseek, this is my daily journal page. So this is another thing that you need to get used to when using Logseek. When you open the program, you are faced with your daily journal and that is where you input information. And the way that I think about this is like a infinite piece of paper that I can just write my thoughts on. And it's really the jumping off point to the rest of your database because you can enter things in here and link back to any other points. So I just use the journal page as my brain dump what is happening and i can enter things about work personal life anything it's a place to enter your, your thoughts in stream of consciousness now i've already downloaded the the app and i've gone and installed it for those of you who aren't able to download directly from the website you can also go to the github page and find it there let me give you that link now so this is logseek's github page and all the previous releases are available on this page and you can download for your operating system there as well. So I've now gone and opened the Logseek application from my computer and it's showing me the same screen that I saw with the web app. It's just a different color because this is the Logseek's dark mode. But if I go to my top right there and I say open, I can choose the same folder from my Google Drive. So there is that folder, my first database and I can make this a bit bigger. So from here on in, I'm going to be using the desktop app because it's really easy to download. And it's also no, there are no issues with certificates anymore. 
and I'm just going to change the theme to be white. It makes it a little bit easier to see on the screen, I think. I just use a shortcut there, so no need to worry about that. So just to summarize, what LogSeek is doing is it's opening up files from your computer into this well-integrated rendered thinking environment. So these files are still available on my PC, but when, when I link them all on LogSeq, it really brings it all together in one environment that I don't have to jump between lots of different files to find the information. And that's what enables me to access my atomic unit of blocks in a very, very powerful manner. So we're now gonna jump a little bit more into blocks. And also, whilst the Daily Journal is great, you really need pages in order to start making the magic happen. The pages are the nodes around which your notes are structured and help you to find them easier later down the line. So I'll see you in the next one.